what's going on y'all what it is so let's go ahead and slide on this topic and i want to talk about a couple of things that have been brought to my attention in regards to kim porter now you guys know how i start these types of videos off due to the fact that we're dealing with a sensitive subject where we have family and kids and things of that nature involved so i want to handle this subject with care and present this to you guys in the most honorable way and so with that said all of the information that i'm about to convey to you is alleged so let's get it on I was contacted by someone that claims to be a stylist for Kim Porter or was a stylist for Kim Porter, right? And so they're writing a tell-all book in regards to the interactions that they saw take place between Kim and Diddy. Now, the book will also contain information and private conversations that the stylist had with Kim. Kim would have conversations with the stylist about her situation with Diddy. She often referred to her relationship with Diddy as being extremely toxic. Now, the stylist is claiming to have been present at least three times when Diddy put Paul on Kim. So basically the incident that took place in St. Tropez when Diddy took Kim to St. Tropez to confront her about sleeping with Shakir Stewart wasn't the first time he put pause on her. Now another dynamic and interesting thing that the stylist conveyed to me is the fact that this particular stylist says they have information and recording that Diddy actually purchased a 24 karat gold casket a month before Kim Porter passed away. Now it was also told to me by the stylist that Kim had told them that Diddy has slept with Clive Davis on multiple occasions. Like it was a reoccurring thing, the two of them would hook up often. Now, this particular portion of the story is a little bit crazy to me, but again, it's not above the realm of possibility when you take into account who we are talking about. Now, it was told to me that Usher's mom confronted Diddy about allegedly being intimate with Usher when he was only 1'4". And there's a reason why I'm saying it that way, but I believe you guys are smart enough to read between the lines. Now, if you guys remember, I didn't go and search for the video before I did this video, whatever the case may be, but it's not hard to find. I did a video in regards to the relationship uh, between Usher and Diddy about a couple years ago or three years ago, or whatever the case may be. So I remember, you know, being told that there was an intimate relationship there, but I didn't know that Kim Porter, this is what the stylist has told me, had you know footage or had some type of recording of diddy and usher being intimate when usher was just one four i didn't know that detail i didn't express that detail in my previous video in regards to that situation because i did not know but this is what the stylist is telling me now of course i did ask the question because i needed to connect the dots here because it just didn't sound right because i believe that diddy and usher they were already working together musically right and intimately allegedly before he even met Kim Porter. So again, my question to the stylist, how did Kim Porter obtain this footage? Because when she met Usher, Usher had to be about 18. Me and Usher are around the same age. So it was no way in the hell she could have had access to that footage. Well, the stylist said she don't know how Kim got it, but Kim said that she did have the footage on a USB drive or whatever the case may be. Now, let's remember when Kim Porter passed away, the house was robbed of two laptops. And so in my mind, that led Let's me know right there that there was some type of information and video footage that they were trying to retrieve before it was exposed to the public now it's also been said to me that kim porter got tired of doing diddy well you asked the question what do you mean by doing diddy well diddy requested kim to use a strap on and you guys know what that is i don't need to go any further into detail now let me go ahead and put this out because i said that i was going to expose this particular individual if they didn't respond to me in the time that i gave them because at the end of the day i think it's a travesty that they haven't spoke out Kamora Lee Simmons, you need to come out and speak on the behalf of your friend, Kim Porter, because that was one of your best friends and you're sitting there on information that can break this case wide open. But I know why you won't come out and say anything because it has something to do with your ex-husband, you know, and things of that nature. And it will further incriminate him and also incriminate you because there are some things about you that are particularly shady that I've heard that has went down. It's not all your fault. You were dealing with the beast and Russell Simmons and a lot of things that, you know, happened. You were just present for along for the ride. But at the end of the day, you could be an accessory to the fact that some of the things that went down with your husband. So I understand the fact that you don't want to touch this whole Kim Porter thing because it would open up Pandora's box and you don't want to be the catalyst of sinking the ship, the entire ship, so to speak. So I get it. But guys, last but not least, I do want to convey this to you. The stylist has conveyed to me that they're basically on the run and that they're in the process of changing their name. They also said that they came home and found that their door had been kicked in and that their house had been ransacked and things of that nature. Windows was broken 
and it looked like it was an intimidation tactic and so she just feared for her life and her family's life because she has kids and things of that nature and they just picked up and moved you know what i'm saying so this is what this particular stylist is telling me and they are adamant about putting this book out and once the book is released or whatever the case may be they said that whatever happens to them after the book is out is whatever happens like it is what it is because at the end of the day you know kim was a friend and you know it wasn't just a stylist and friend relationship they were friends basically and they just feel so terribly sad and bad that no one has stuck up for kim porter that has the same information that they have but anyway i'm gonna let this slide right here i want you guys to drop down and let me know what you think about this particular situation i do have a video and a picture of the stylist but i'm gonna refrain from putting that out i told them that i would protect them at all costs and i'm a man of my word but anyway right let me know down in the comments how you feel. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And until next time, peace.